Office of Naval Intelligence. This video was classified level 4. The description of the vessels of the Kralian Order. Kralian Light Cruiser. The humble Kralian Light Cruiser is the mass-produced backbone of the Kralian Order space fleet. It is armed with two particle beam emitters facing front with a range of 1,000 meters. Head shield generators are generally substandard, averaging around half the strength of the standard shields fitted to a TSN light cruiser. The ship also features highly inefficient maneuver drives and is one of the slowest craft in known space. For all of its shortcomings, however, the Kralians field this ship en masse during the war efforts, using it to overwhelm enemy defenses through sheer numbers. The ship has the dubious distinction, therefore, of being the single most numerous vessel in known space, and it should not be underestimated when part of a sufficiently large Kralian or Hegemony wolf pack. Kralian Drone Cruiser In a bid to make their war fleets more capable, the Kralians have been known to field a variant of their light cruiser hull. This variant has been seen with enhanced shielding and weaponry, most notably the addition of a single drone launcher, more often than not procured from their Torgoth allies. The drone cruiser maintains a similar production rating to the light cruiser, and weapons officers must be vigilant to shoot down any and all ordnance that this clash of ship may hurl at TSN craft, as a group of these ships can put out a considerable number of drone torpedoes. Kralian Battleship the Kralian Battleship is a heavier class of ship fielded by the Kralian Order. It is armed with the same bulk manufactured twin particle beam emitters found on the cruiser. However, their rate of fire has been nearly doubled due to the enhanced cooling and energy plant available on the larger ship chassis. This puts it on par with the TSN light cruiser's armament. Its shielding generally matches that of a TSN light cruiser as well. Its maneuverability and staying power in combat is still limited as it lacks the specialized abilities of other races' heavy hulls. Nonetheless, we believe this craft has only marginally higher production costs compared to the Kralian Cruiser, and it outwardly appears to be manufactured from the same components, but in larger quantities. Kralian Dreadnought The heaviest Kralian vessel fielded to date is the Kralian Dreadnought. Again, it is armed with the twin front particle beam emitters with identical firing characteristics to the battleships, reaching 1,000 meters. The ship fits shields on par with our battle cruisers, and an unusual display of innovation from the Kralians has additionally been armed with a heavy particle cannon in the rear arc. This cannon can outrange standard beam weaponry at 1,400 meters, although it fires slower than the ship's forward beams. The only technically strange part of this weapon is the fact the Kralians have decided to mount this heavy weapon facing aft, while its weaker main armament is facing forward. While still as sluggish and ultimately vulnerable alone as its lighter counterparts, this dreadnought is perhaps the closest thing the Kralian fleet has to a very credible threat. Acting as the flagship of the wolf pack, this craft can act as a considerable weapon of war. While the forces of the Kralian Order are definitely ill-equipped, they are not without motive. Careful use of ordnance, assets, and tactics is necessary to avoid an embarrassing end at their hands. The Kralians will stop at nothing to collect the rent they perceive we owe, and we expect no permanent end to their efforts against the USFP and TSN forces.